Hey! What's going on gamers? This is Dr. Redstone signing in to another episode on the channel. Today's episode, we have the Corsairs uh, Fusion event or the Corsair something event. We got the Corsairs going on, guys, okay? So we're going to be going over the event, everything you guys need to know in today's episode. Cue that intro. Let's get right into it. Alrighty gamers and jumping on into this one let's take a look at the news because that's where we're gonna need to start at uh, not here not here well actually we will need to go back to this but we need to go right here Corsairs fortune event this is exactly what we need to go ahead and look at so now there's a couple different types of armor obviously there is the basic armor that you're going to go and get uh we're going to go and do some rare spawns show you guys exactly how to do that the best way to do it the fastest way to do it the most effective way to grind to ensure that you guys go ahead and get that t10 so take a look down here at this chart right here so we have the typical armor so the minor zephyr if i'm saying that wrong definitely let me know down in the comment section below but you're going to go and take those minor zephyrs and add them to the t1 to get a t2 add them to the t2 to get a t3 to add them to the t3 to get a t4 t5 t6 then you're going to go ahead and go to the major zephyrs and that's where you're really going to start bumping some things up you're going to go and go to a t7 with the major to, to a t8 add that again to a t9 add that again to a t10 and then you're gonna have pretty dang beastly water water armor now i want to ensure everybody gets this so let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick and talk about a little bit about the events jumping on over here to the reddit uh it's gonna go ahead and talk about so august 16th which is today uh to september 3rd so we got about two weeks of this bad boy make sure you guys go ahead and get this uh you can collect shards for the water water armor which is absolutely crazy that they did that you guys need to make sure and grab this shards will be available at the various milestones for the following event raid boss guild war blitz raid boss blitz guild war heroic mode what and campaign mode so make sure you guys take advantage of each and every single one of those ones we also have the ring and the amulet as well now that's going to be a set up on a you know on a tier system to make sure you guys can go ahead and get that thing leveled up to t7 with the minor ringle and then also with the minor talisman that's going to go ahead and get those bad boys all the way to t8 t9 and t10 so make sure you guys take advantage of those ones and let's go ahead and take a look at the events that we have going on this month or for the let's take a look at the events that we have going on till the end of the event let's just take a look at the events pull up the calendar doc well, since you asked so nicely, maybe I will pull up the calendar. So here we go right here. So we have everything laid out. We have our Guild War. We have our Blitz events. We have our Raid Bosses. We have our Heroic Mode, which is super duper cool. So August 27th uh, to September 3rd, maybe from that week span. Today's the 15th. So at the end of this, I'm not really sure what they're going to be doing for Heroic Mode. So I'm kind of curious to see about that. Rare Spawn right now. So August 16th. Is that to August 28th? So it's going to be going on for like two two weeks. Is that is that how that is? So we do have the water diamonds, and then we also have the water shell. So making sure that you guys are going in and definitely taking advantage of those ones and grinding out as much as possible. Let me know down in the comment section below right now your guys's hands down best grinding methods, and maybe we'll do a grinding video for you guys grinding live stream test out your guys different methods let me know down in the comment section below obviously with everything that we have going on these are all going to be in rewards okay we do have the let's see is anything going on right now not much oh the raid boss this weekend so these bad boys are in the rewards making sure you guys are making the most amount of points now what i have been doing is going over here to the plateau you guys know this is the classic one that i always end up going to so i go in here to epic i go to fight now i do have some things that are changed over on my settings you guys can see that it's not going to go ahead and just jump into the next battle i do have to hit fight 
Also, it doesn't have the auto attack set up, so then I can just go ahead and continue tapping and making sure, okay, when that boss pops up, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that one. Now, there is one way to do it where you just kind of tap your fight button. Every time you hit your fight button, you'll use your special attack, irregardless if the boss is there. Uh, something like that so then you guys can go ahead and use that special ability because it's not guaranteed now I know that I've talked to a couple different people and they actually recommended that instead of having it set up uh, Because it does slow you down when you have to hit the fight button in between battles and stuff like that uh, that if you just have it set up to your auto attack and then just continuously go through it over and over and over You know you have kind of a better chance. Maybe you might get more and stuff like that in the long run I, I don't know. I don't know if I really believe that. I definitely think that it doesn't see right here. So we have the dragon and bam. So we just got three of those blue whatever right there just because, see, I was sitting here talking to you guys. I was able to hit attack, able to hit the you know special attack and able to get that. Now, what are the chances that that one would have been able to hit a special attack on random while we were sitting here talking about it? Slim to none. I mean, I really don't think that that would have just happened kind of by chance. So, you know, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do, yeah, boom, boom. Because, it, you know, it's going to go ahead and do it. So there's that. So let's see. One, two. So special attack. Let's see. See, we just missed out on special attack. Missed out on another special attack. So just in my opinion, guys, if you guys want to do this the best most effective way to make sure that you guys are ensuring exactly that break up those stages go into your your options go to auto settings take off that auto use the special knights ability also take off the auto advance next wave and just kind of go through and grind the proper way you know because like i said so there was like three of them that's nine material right there that we missed out on just because i had it set up on the other thing Okay, so just just do it the right way in my opinion and you probably will definitely get more You know materials and stuff like that in the long run now If you don't have time to sit here and hit fight while you guys are playing the game and stuff like that say you're doing dishes or say you're Changing diapers or say you're doing homework and you just want to kind of grind out as much as possible without you know playing the game as much yeah maybe set it up on auto and just go through boom 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 do that i'm gonna come on over here i'm gonna do my math problem i'm gonna get that problem solved yada yada, yada. then i'm gonna jump back into it once it's over so i can go ahead and restart it but you know you guys have seen here i mean most effectively as you're doing that just take your time go through look at the fight hit your special ability I think that's definitely the best way to do it. I just want to know down in the comment section right now how many of you guys are planning to go ahead and get that water water. I think I'm going to make a couple videos about it to try and see. I, I want everybody to get it. Realistically, a water water, everybody needs to have that one in their arsenal if they don't have it. Especially with everything being above 10,000 attack, 10,000 defense and stuff like that. I don't even think we have the full stats out on this bad boy right now. But 11,000 in attack, 10,000 on defense. Now, that's not even including the ring and the amulet. Now, let's go ahead and take a look in the limited time shop right now. Because I do believe we can purchase these because we have a couple of those materials. Now, I have been grinding quite a bit. Let's see. Uh, so, we got 387 water diamonds right now. Uh, so we can buy the we could buy the armor we could buy the ring and the amulet. So let's go ahead and just purchase that no reason why we shouldn't buy them. I don't think So this grinding was a couple hours maybe today uh, Did I just buy that twice? I just bought the same one twice didn't I that sucks Let's take a look. We're gonna go my nights we're going to go water and water and go. Boom. And water. That one. Oh, no. I, okay. I thought I bought two rings or two amulets. So, so I'm glad that I didn't. So, bam. That is that one right there. So, we do have T1 that's going on right now for that one. So, that's exactly what we have set up for the moment. Uh, so we've got everything that we kind of need. Now we just need to go ahead and get everything all leveled up and stuff like that. And of course we will be doing videos and stuff for you guys to kind of give you a breakdown on exactly what you guys need to do. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look and see. I'm not sure which kind of armor. I'm assuming it would be a Dragon Forge. Looks like it's not. Let's go ahead and take a look at the news and see. So it doesn't show us those armors. Okay, here we go. So Corsair's Fortune, Jewelry tier up. So T1 to T6, T7 to T9. So you guys know exactly what you guys need to do there. So 250 of those bad boys are going to go ahead and get one of the... Man, that's a lot, actually. I'm kind of surprised. That seems like a lot, to be honest with you. Uh, oh, we got Treasure Hunt going on right now. Raid, of course. You guys know that. So, okay. So I'm curious to see how much it is to go ahead and do one of those armors or to craft one of those armors. Water shells. Okay, boom, there it is right there. So it looks like approximately 500 water shells and 500 water diamonds. So that's going to be quite a bit of grinding. I mean, I did get almost 400 set up right now in a couple hours of grinding. So it's definitely going to take a lot more time and stuff like that. But boom, there is the minor, there is the major. So you guys are definitely gonna need a lot for those ones. So you're gonna need about 3,000 when it comes to water diamonds, not including the purchases, you know, just to get that armor all the way to T7. And then you guys are also gonna need about 1,500 for the water shell. So definitely gonna need a lot of grinding. It's gonna take a little bit of time uh, to make sure you guys can get all of these materials and everything like that, but to be able to get a water water, make sure and take advantage of it. Alrighty guys, and that is gonna be absolutely everything from me. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are enjoying this event. Uh, if you guys think of anything that maybe could be different, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm kind of curious. I do think that this event uh, should go over fairly well as long as they don't have any bugs and stuff like that in the game. I do feel like they definitely have given us plenty of time. Oh. And speaking of those, oh, back to back, dang nabbit. So we have the dragon there, and then we have that big old metal monster. Uh, so those are going to be the two bosses and stuff like that that you guys are going to want to go ahead and beat to go ahead and get those materials. So yeah, definitely get your grind on. Get as much as you can in those milestones. But realistically, if they're going to keep this thing going on for 14 days, like that, you could put in some serious grinding. You know, probably about four hours and stuff like that every single day. You guys will definitely be able to get that. I know we're definitely going to put in our work on this one. We are over here on the EU server right now. So I don't know how much work we're going to put over on the global server. But if I can do it, I'm going to go ahead and try and do it. So yeah, uh, let me know down in the comment section again if you guys are planning to get this armor all the way to a T10. And also with the ring and the amulet. And also, let me know your guys' best way to go ahead and grind through those levels. Grind through those materials and everything like that. That's going to be everything for me. If you guys enjoy, please make sure to smash that like button. Definitely helps me out more than you know. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, this is Dr. Redstone signing out. Thanks, YouTube. Peace.